Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the RST Raid Boots. The name of the RST Raid Boots conjures up images of riders trying to win the Dakar but to my mind, these boots are more suited to long road trips on an adventure touring bike than they are to tackling deserts. They differ from most of their competition because the waterproof membrane in these boots is a Sympatex lining. Sympatex say their membrane gets better as the conditions get wetter and that allows it to become even more breathable as the rain gets harder. There aren't enough customer reviews to draw firm conclusions about the waterproofing of these boots, but I wore this pair in some pretty awful rain and my feet stayed dry. That waterproof material is the main difference from competitive boots, but there's plenty to talk about, so let's cover the outside of the boots too. They're made from a combination of suede and genuine leather with good flexibility for walking and the motions you need while riding, like changing gear and braking. There's hard protection around the shins, around the heels, and also at the toes, and there's a plastic guard to stop gear changes damaging the upper. The sole is stiff and it's also chunkily treaded which suits use for green laning if that's the kind of riding you're after because that tread allows you to get good traction in mud. They're fastened by three motocross type clasps. The one around the ankle has 40 millimetres of adjustment and then the two above have 70 mil of range to suit different thicknesses of calves. The final ingredient of the fastener is this velcro band around the top. One issue that does crop up in the first few of those customer reviews is that the outside of this band sits higher than the main portion of the boot which exposes your skin to the rough side of the Velcro. It's a bit odd really, as if they used the soft side of the Velcro here, it wouldn't be a problem, you'd have the soft side contacting your skin. So if you are planning on wearing these boots next to the skin, then I would suggest just in case, getting a base layer or a pair of long socks so that you've got something to act as a barrier between your skin and the harsh side of that Velcro. The CE label on the inside of these boots shows these are substantial boots, especially when you consider that they cost £160, which isn't expensive for a pair of boots. They meet level two for height and in all three technical tests, which are for resistance to abrasion, cuts, and the kind of crushing forces you get acting on the sole if your bike falls on your foot. Additionally, they're tested for waterproofing. Not all boots are put through that test, so RST deserves some kudos for that and they also meet the CE standard on impact protection at the ankles and the shin. So again, it's to RST's credit that they've had their boots tested in that way. I wore these boots when testing a Yamaha Tenere 700, both on road and off, as you can see from the fact that they're still a bit grubby from the experience. I found the thick soles meant I felt a bit isolated from what was going on at the foot pegs, and also the instep isn't particularly pronounced. So that made it a little bit tricky to lock into the foot pegs when I was stood up on the bike. That's why I say I feel these are more appropriate for road touring rather than for off-roading, but there are some reviewers who've used these boots for off-roading and have been happy with them. So it all comes down to personal taste, really. Other little nuggets of info that come out from those customer reviews are that these boots are easy to put on and that they're also well-suited to riders with broad feet. There also seems to be a feeling that going up a size from normal on these boots is helpful, but I wore my normal size and I didn't have any problem. I also don't have particularly broad feet and again, they were comfortable. So I'd say you don't need broad feet to be comfy in these, even though people say they are suited to people who do have broad feet. I hope that gives a full breakdown on the RST Raid boots, but if you have anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.